Welcome back to RuralVacantLand.com. This is Luke Smith, and I've got another property in Shasta County I'd like to show you. And uh, so I'm on the map search. I'm going to get rid of the ones that are sold here, and let's move into Northern California. Um, so San Francisco is here. Sacramento is here. The five goes up through the middle of the state, and it goes through Redding, and where it turns off in Redding towards Lawson National Forest is, uh, I think it's a 44. Yeah, 44 goes there. Um, goes through Shingletown and goes into the park, so all kinds of parklands. But before you get to the park, there's a whole bunch of trees, um, forestry, commercial forestry stuff. And so this area has seen a lot of forestry. If we switch it over to satellite, you can really tell. Like, look at how many um, bits and pieces of forest are missing as the forestry guys have taken that out. There's all kinds of forest roads going through here. And so this property is built off of one of these forest roads. So someone got a chunk of land here and they cut it up into, into smaller properties. It looks like there's a, there's a camp down here and the stream kind of runs through that area. So let's keep go moving in. But there's a couple little streets here, maybe some little cabins that have spread through these woods. It looks like a couple neighbors next to this property that have uh, you know, left some junk. I mean, they can do pretty much anything they want out here. It doesn't seem like anybody bothers them for the good and the bad of it. So let's click on the property. I'm asking $8,999. And there's the, the numbers, like the APN numbers. You can go look it up, research it, everything. Um, it's in Shasta County, California. GPS coordinates, elevation on this one's 3,970 feet. Got the zoning codes, the county zoning codes there. It was almost $200 in taxes last year. It's about $200 a year in taxes, what this thing's been going. Um, let's uh, let's click on the GPS and open it up in Google Maps, see if we can see what we can see. So Google Maps has the lot lines in this part of the world. And um, if we switch over to satellite, you can see it's this, this property here. So it looks like there's, uh, you could access it from either side. Topaz Lane or Pine Lane. Let's look at that again. Well, Pine Lane gets close, but not exactly. I don't think anyone's going to notice you run through there. Looks like there might be some two tracks in the backside anyway. But uh, so this Topaz Lane um, looks like it shoots right in there. I don't think those are power lines. I think those are that's his fence. The neighbor's got some posts out there for a fence. Um, so you'd have to figure out your own electricity and your own water system here. There's a stream at the bottom of the hill you could probably get water out of. There's a pond down here. There's a creek. Um, so I don't know if they mind if you go down there and pump water out of the creek or not. But uh, I'd give it a try. Um, there's the property. And let's see if we can do some 3D action. I think it's relatively flat. I mean this creek would be at the bottom of the hill so maybe it's a little upslope from here to there but the property looks flat. I mean it doesn't look like you got hill or gorge or anything crazy. Just slight hill. Here's property lines of a different software. The neighbors over there. Here's the neighborhood. Um, they put together a whole bunch of lots in there, huh? And there's the uh, there's the property, bunch of trees. So looking at the market, this is this this one that I've got here is one acre for eight thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. So I pulled up Landwatch. And we're looking at Shasta County and uh, land for sale price low to high. Almost 1,900 properties in the county on here. It's a good representation of the market. It's probably not 100% complete representation of the market, but land watch is the easiest to slice dice and, and see what's going on. Lots of times Zillow or the others, you try to call them and the ad's been done, gone, sold forever. <laughs> Whatever. It's just false advertising a lot of it. So I don't use it. Here we go. Price low to high. This is kind of spam stuff. People aren't filling it out right. 
And then this is a lease. They're trying to lease that property for like $2,900 a year. And then um, cheapest property is this thing, this third of an acre. It's on a steep hill. Um, but it's paved road, power water and stuff, but just a really steep hill. Um, so I'm disqualifying that one because of the steepness of the hill. That's why it's so cheap. This one, six grand. I think it's the same property for both these ads. It's in a gated community. Like, if you want the community to tell you what you can and can't do, that's probably a great place for you. I'm going to skip that myself. This one, quarter acre, it's uh, it's a cabin lot. It's got some awesome pictures. Whoever put the pictures together is really sweet. But then you, you go, I look up the location of it. It doesn't make any sense. It's, it's like a house either right on the border of it or partway into it. Like, the neighbors are encroaching on it. I can't really tell. Or maybe you get the house. Maybe a house comes with it. That'd be kind of cool. But I don't know why they're selling it for eight grand if you actually get the house. So it's it's a confusing head scratcher. The pictures don't seem to line up with the property at all. Um, Jones Valley is. Uh, I should pull up a picture of it. It's just like a sardine packer neighborhood. Bunch of people jammed together. It looks like you're in backside of LA with a bunch of fences in between everyone's properties and you know head high fence jammed in there because without the fence people would be you know looking out one window into the next just not private kind of neighborhood and then my properties out in the woods um, freedom to do what you want privacy trees uh, this one's eight thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars so I think I got the cheapest of its kind in the county. Um, one acre beats these guys' size by, well, at least by double. Um, the biggest neighbor close in price is 6000 bucks for half acre in a uh, gated community. So one acre in the woods I think is more tractable. Um, but it's up to you to look at and decide. If this property is right for you, if this is if this fits your bill, um, you can go to ruralvacantland.com. I'll put a link below, and you can click. It'll take you to this website, and you can click the Buy It Now and fill out the information and go for it. I found some pictures of the Lawson Peak. that I really like this picture. I'm sure there's lots of different pictures, but this one shows you the kinds of trees that are in the area. These are the kinds of trees that are on the property. And, um, yeah, there's the, there's the peak. I mean, it's... Um, Lawson Peak and the road that comes up to it. Just volcano stuff act happening in the area. There's an old school one. Lawson Peak blew its top. So there's Lawson Peak. Um, that's what's in the area. That's the park. That's the, the wilderness. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. It's Luke Smith, RuralVacantLand.com.